Hello guys, if your Windows 10 or 11 PC running slow, crashing unexpectedly, or throwing strange error messages, don't rush into reinstalling the operating system and risking your data. In this video, I'll walk you through a safe and effective method to repair your system files without formatting your PC or losing any important data. We'll be using two powerful built-in tools that come with Windows, System File Checker and Deployment Imaging Service and Management Tool. These tools are designed to scan, detect and fix corrupted or missing system files that are often responsible for system instability. Let's begin with the System File Checker tool. To do this, search for CMD in the Windows search bar, right-click on Command Prompt and select Run as Administrator. Once the command window opens, you can type these commands step by step or copy and paste it in your command line. You can find these commands in my video descriptions. This command will start scanning all protected system files on your PC. If it finds any corrupted or missing files, it will automatically replace them with the correct versions from the system cache. The process may take several minutes depending on your system speed, so let it run until it reaches 100%. Be patient, this step is crucial in fixing common system issues. Once the scan is complete, you'll see a result message. If it says, Windows Resource Protection did not find any integrity violations, that means your system files are perfectly fine and no further action is needed. However, if the message says, Windows Resource Protection found and successfully repaired corrupt files. Then go ahead and restart your PC to apply the fixes. On the other hand, if it says something like Windows Resource Protection found corrupt files but was unable to fix some of them, don't worry. That just means we need to take it one step further. In that case, we'll use another built-in Windows tool called Deployment Imaging Service and Management Tool to repair the underlying Windows image that might be causing the problem. Now let's move on to the next step. In the same command prompt window, copy and paste the second command. Then hit Enter. This command uses Windows Update to scan your system image and attempt to repair any issues it finds. The process may take some time, depending on the health of your system and internet connection, so be patient and allow it to complete fully. Once it finishes, it's a good idea to run the SFC backslash scan now command again. This time, with the system image repaired, it should be able to fix any remaining issues with your system files. If, for some reason, Deployment Imaging Service and Management Tool returns an error saying it couldn't find the source files, don't panic. This usually means it wasn't able to download the necessary files from Windows Update. In that case, you'll need to use a Windows ISO file as the repair source, go to your browser and type download Windows 11 ISO. Head over to the official Microsoft website and download the ISO file that matches your version of Windows. Once the download is complete, simply double click the ISO file to mount it as a virtual drive on your PC. My ISO file is mounted in Drive G. Check your Windows 11 mounted drive letter. Later, we will use this drive to repair our system files. Before we proceed with the repair, we need to ensure we're using the correct edition of Windows from the ISO file. To do this, open command prompt and run this next command. Now change the drive letter to your mounted Windows 11 drive. In my case, it is mounted in drive G. This will show us all the additions included in the ISO. Each edition will have a unique index number. For example, Windows 11 Home might be index 1, while Windows 11 Pro could be index 6, and so on. To find out which edition you're currently using, press Windows plus R, type Winver, and press Enter. A window will pop up showing your current Windows version and edition. In my case, I'm using Windows 11 Pro, which corresponds to index 6 in the ISO file. Now that I know the correct edition, I can run the DISM command with the appropriate index to repair the system image using the mounted ISO file.
If you're using Windows 11 Pro and it's listed as index 6, make sure to use index 6 in your command. Press enter and DISM will begin repairing your system using the files from the mounted ISO. Once the process completes, run the SFC command one final time to verify that all system file issues have been fully resolved. And that's it. Your Windows system should now be repaired without the need to reinstall or format your computer. Thanks for watching. If this video helped you fix your system without reinstalling Windows, don't forget to like, subscribe and share to support the channel. Got any questions or facing another issue? Drop a comment below. I'm here to help. See you in the next tutorial.